Hello, and welcome back to Crazy Day's Kitchen, where today we're making white cheddar chipotle chicken sliders. All right, that's, I'm not, I'm not retaking it again, so you'll see why later. Anyway, this is uh, a quick and easy, now the barbecue season is here, we're ramping up into July. Uh, it's nice and hot out, everybody's into barbecuing. Uh, we're going to make some chicken sliders, chipotle, chipotle chicken sliders. And they can even be burgers. I, I have enough meat for 12 burgers, basically. So it's two pounds of ground chicken. Uh, for obviously when you're we're cooking it on the grill, or you can actually cook this on the stovetop because chicken has like no fat in it, so it's really easy to cook. Um, I have uh, some white cheddar cheese to go along with it, uh, aged, and uh, yeah. So there you go, uh, getting into our spices, our spice plate. I curated a nice spice plate for us today. So I have three quarters, uh, three quarter teaspoon uh, garlic powder, three quarter teaspoon onion powder. I have a quarter teaspoon of, of pepper. I have one teaspoon of kosher salt. I also have these wonderful, uh, Chipotle peppers, it's not going to be chipotle chicken without chipotle, so which is really just roasted um, jalapenos, So uh, and they're really spicy. So two whole chipotle peppers, you're going to just chop those up, mince them up really nice and fine, and then we're also going to grab a tablespoon of the adobo sauce that, uh, that is sitting in here. And this is a really nice combination of flavors. I also have here some chopped up fresh cilantro. And we're going to mix all of this in with the chicken uh, with our hands, too. So, you know, I mean, I'm sure you can use a spatula of some kind. Uh, I brought one just in case. But really, the best way to mix this is with your hands. Uh, sort of like making a meatloaf. And then we'll be forming them into patties uh, for the grill. So there's our lovely mixture of spices. We're going to go ahead and add a nice big tablespoon of the adobo sauce, and that's going to add a decent amount of heat to these burgers. There we go, and then the fun begins. Now, with the adobo sauce and the peppers and all that, like don't be like rubbing your eyes or your face or your skin anywhere, really. Wash your hands very thoroughly after handling uh, <laughs> the adobo sauce. So we're just going to go ahead and mix all of this in. Doesn't this sound fun? Oh, yeah, it does. I've also cut up some parchment paper here. Once I form them into patties, which uh, I may or may not show you, but uh, who wants to watch somebody make patties? So we're just going to mix this all up just like so, and that's looking pretty good. And we'll be on to forming patties very shortly, and then we'll see how this, uh, see if we can film the grill. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so here we are at the grill. Works works for me, I think. Um, I clean the grill and um, and I put some uh, olive oil with a paper towel and cleaned up uh, clean up the grill. So on medium, which is, I believe that's where I'm at. That's low. That's medium. That's where we want to be. I took the burgers, <clears throat> took the burgers and put them on a, uh, I got to see how this is going to work. This is where we where we're going to epically fail here. I don't know how to get these off of here. Gently, huh? So these are going to cook for about five minutes on each side. That one has a, that's more like a donut shape. So I basically laid out a piece of, uh, I laid out, I can't talk and do two things at the same time apparently either. I laid out a big piece of plastic wrap on my cutting board, and then I measured out 12 even or about even rounds, and then formed them into patties. And this is the end result. 
I think it looks pretty good. It certainly smells good. So here we go. I'm just going to put the lid on. I'm going to set a timer for five minutes. And then when we flip, we'll add uh, some cheese. All right, there's our five-minute timer. So we're going to go ahead and flip these carefully. There you go. Nice grill marks there. Cooking and sizzling along. Slippery little suckers. I should really start far and go fast, right? Looking really nice. Smelling very delicious. So five minutes per side. We're going to add some cheese to these. this side. They're all cooking up really nice and again not sticking to the grill with the uh, olive oil laid on there. So yeah, these look really, no, really good too. So got some cheese, just going to lay down some sort of the thicker chunks so they uh, survive the heat a little better I guess. And we're going to cover this and cook for another five minutes. And then we will be all set to eat some delicious cheddar chipotle, what was it? Chicken cheddar's chipotle burgers. All right, there's our five-minute timer, and the cheese is uh, looking all nice and melty. We're just going to go ahead and take our burgers off of the grill here. These really, I can't get over how well how these things smell just absolutely delicious. Can't wait to plate these up. No, I'm not going to eat all of these, but uh, definitely a few. I'll probably be bringing it to work for lunch, actually. All right, there we have them. Uh, delicious chipotle chicken sliders done up on the grill. All right, so we're off the grill. We've got our burgers. Uh, I made some uh, butter uh, hamburger buns or slider buns the other day. Uh, I, I lost my microphone action while filming it, so I'll have to redo that on a different day. But you can make your own butter buns to go along with this. Uh, have my spicy peach coleslaw, perfect for a spicy chipotle chicken burger. Top it off with some, uh, I don't know, whatever you like. If you like tomato, onion, uh, maybe a little more mayo. I think the burgers themselves are good just on their own with the spice. Very delicious. Cooked fast. Uh, maybe enjoy with a little white wine. You know, chicken, white wine. You could probably have red wine too. I taste. I tasted the coleslaw a minute ago, and it's spicy. Spicy peach coleslaw. If you want to cut back a little bit on the cayenne, maybe a quarter teaspoon, whatever. It's up to you. You're the chef. You're the one making the food. So thanks again for tuning in to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Still climbing with the subscribers. I need some more of you to subscribe. I'm, I have a lot of views of people that don't subscribe, but that's good. At least I'm getting out there. I'm being seen. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here at Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Hello, and welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making uh, chipotle chicken sliders, or or hamburgers, however you want to work it. If, if. Hi. Hello, and welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen, where today we're making white cheddar. Hmm. No, we're not. We're not making that. We're making something else. Oh, it is. White chicken.
white cheddar. Hello, and welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making white cheddar chipotle chicken sliders. White. Ch All right. Is that really what it is? Yeah, that's really what it is. All right, here we go. Hello, and welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen, where today we're making white cheddar chicken chipotle. I can't believe that that's what it is. I can't believe that's what it is. White cheddar chick chipotle. Chicken chipotle. White cheddar chipotle chicken slider. Hello. <laughs> oh, shit. Hello. And welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen, where today we're making white cheddar chip White cheddar chipotle chicken slider. White cheddar Chipotle chicken slider. He sells sea cells by the seashore. Hello, and welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen, where today we're making white cheddar. Shit. Hello. 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 Hello, and welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Chicken. <laughs> 